Hey everybody, welcome back to Nerd News Today. I'm Matthew. I'm Andrea. And today we're looking at plush goals by Cuddle Barn. We got a bunch of new plushies from a company we met a few months ago and they've really grown a lot since we first saw mm -hmm. them, yeah. We didn't really know much about them when we first saw them and then suddenly we're finding them everywhere. Yeah, like, I think just recently they started showing up in Claire's and places like that, so they get a lot more retail deals. Yeah. And we both really like their stuff. Oh yeah, no, their stuff's absolutely adorable, creative, and just a little different, so it really makes them stand out on the market. So Cuddle Barn sent us this care package, and we're gonna unbox it today and look at a few of the new lines that they've got. Yep, and just real quick, look how cute this box is! Right. Look how cute this is! Tell me this doesn't make you wanna just you know, rip it open and get all the insides, but also play with it because it's an adorable box. That's what we're gonna do. Sweet. As I hold this in a threatening manner towards this box of plushies. Don't hurt the plushies. I won't hurt the plushies. We're gonna free them and okay. liberate them. Okay, yeah, let's free the plushies. Let's free the plushies. And the box is open, so we're gonna put it on the floor while we bring out all the different plushies for you to look at. So first, <gasps> look at this nice tissue paper. Oh my god, that's so cute. I love good tissue paper. Well, that's for you, and this Yay. is for me. Oh, smell this. Yeah, I gotta tell you, once we open this package up, I can smell all the different scents, because a lot of these are actually scented plushies. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start pulling oh, those no, out. Oh, no, 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 smell this. Just, just smell the paper. Mm -hmm. Do I smell the box? Mm -hmm. Ooh, it smells so good. <laughs> Seriously, this, this is just childhood right here. And this is how you know who grew up in the 80s and who didn't. <sighs> yeah. First up, from their little series, Soy Sauce Wawa. And I have one of their cryptid Wawas. This oh. is Mothman. He's so cute. Would you like some soy sauce? Yes, he would. These are so nice. They're just, they're really cute. And I mean, they're really, they have a really nice hug factor. I don't know how to, how to rate it, but hug factor. On a scale of one to five hugs, I give this a five. What's kind of cool about my guy is he has a furry tummy, and it's actually a different kind of oh, material. Oh, this is so soft. It's actually really soft, and they're all really soft so yeah. far. I mean, that's the only you can say about them is like they're they've all got this like really great material on them mm -hmm. that is so nice to the touch. Yeah. But the cryptid Mothman Wawa, he's got like a little soft tummy, just like a moth. <laughs> yeah. Um, with soy sauce, his tummy's definitely a different material as well as um his little, his little cap. Lid. <laughs> it's a cap. It's a soy sauce Brand cap. Both, yeah. Look, the cryptids are really awesome, but. Cryptids are something that exists. We know that we've seen different types of cryptids, but soy sauce, come on, it's soy sauce. He's a cutie patootie, and he's filled with yummy, extra salty goodness. I'm just thinking if anybody saw this video out of context, they just said that cryptids are real, you know they exist. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they do. They've been around for a very long time. You're so cute, Mothman. And also, I just, I love that they have the little, look at the little butt. My guy's got wings. Oh yeah, that's pretty neat. Well, he is a moth. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a little moth antenna too. He's like those little soft moths you see. Hmm. Yeah, but uh, I like how it, it sort of like reminds me of the Care Bears with their heart. Well, his wings are shaped like a heart too. Oh yeah, but, well, I mean, that's moth wings. So yeah, that makes sense. He's moth man. But yeah, these are really cute. So it's funny that the first ones I pulled out were like probably the ones lacking the most color though. Yeah. Because <laughs> these are both like the, the black ones, but there's plenty more in there. Well, this is a soy boy, a saucy boy. He is a very saucy boy. It, it's net weight one saucy boy. Come on. Well, let's put your saucy boy in my cryptid over here for a second. I'll put him over here. Grab who's next. Yes, that's. What I really like about Cuddle Barn is just how inventive they are with some of their ideas. I mean, some of them are just really fun. In addition to soy sauce, there is also my personal favorite, hot chili. Wow. And if you think it looks like a, a sriracha bottle, you'd be right because it doesn't, it's super cute. In addition to this Mothman Wawa that I have, you can also get two other cryptids for a total of three. And the other two are the Teal Dragon Wawa and my personal favorite, the Jersey Devil Wawa. Up next, we, again from the little series, we have the Scented Wawas. This is Peach Munch and Watermelon Munch. Now this is like a real serious throwback now. This is what you were smelling when you opened the boxes. Smell. <sighs> Do you want to smell my wawa and I'll smell your wawa? Okay. <laughs> oh! Yours is very peachy. So peachy, but so melony. Yeah, right? Like yours is so floral with that scent oh too. It's like. Oh, it's a good smell. It's not like that like fake artificial no, kind of smell. No, this smells like legit. Yeah. And, and like not for nothing, the toys from the 80s, the scented toys from the 80s, they, most of them, if they're kept in pretty decent shape, they still have that smell. And 
I could easily see this being the same and just holding on and staying forever. So just so you guys know what we're looking at too, Wawa, by the way, is basically the main character, I believe, of this plush girl, Siri. And Wawa is a little froggo friend. They're a little frog and they come in many different incarnations. And in this case, this is the scented one. Yeah, and look at the little, little, you know. It's a cutie mark. It's a cutie it's mark. It's a cutie mark. It's a Care Bear mark. Yeah. It, it's both because it's like big, it has several things like a cutie mark, but the heart, like a Care Bear. I like how there's like the heart really is like everywhere on this thing too. Mm -hmm. Like, and the eyes. It's in the shape of the mouth, like you said. It's on the top, sort of, with the uh, little like leaf coming out of their head. Uh huh. And I like the little, you know, you have the little tongue sticking out. It's like, <laughs> and they're so cute and round. Also, like this is a great shape for little kids. Like this is the most pleasing shape I feel like to hold. Yeah, this really is a really great. It's very satisfying to hold this. Yeah. You know, like like you know, we can talk about squish mallows because we talked about them many many times mm -hmm. in the past. Um, but those are all fairly one shape. Uh, I'll be honest. Like I talked before about how I use squish mallows for sensory related things. But honestly, this gives me a different depth of pleasure. I, I think guess. it's the weight. It's the weight, but no, it's the fact that there are little legs. There's yeah. the different textures, because I mean, the peach is a different texture from the body, but you, and, as well as the leaves are different and textures. And the tummies too. And the tummies, yeah. And it's just, I mean, the scent. Oh, that's just, this is a sensory, like, paradise. It's a sensory picnic, it yeah. feels like, you know? And it's just, yeah. It, I agree with you though, this is really good for holding. You know, like this just, I mean, yeah, I want to cuddle, but I also just want to hold and be like, do, 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 do. you play. Boop. And here we have, instead of munching, they're sipping Wawa's. This is the strawberry milk sipping Wawa. And I have the coffee sipping Wawa, and these are also oh scented. God, they smell so good. Wow, I, okay, so I, I didn't know what to expect with this. I also forgot this was gonna be scented, to be honest. But yeah, I didn't know what to expect with this, and I'm just like, okay, this is coffee. <laughs> yeah, okay, you need to smell, it smells strawberry. Ooh. Oh, whoa, I am awake. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, and we should, it's not like this is like strong coffee that you know, you're gonna get like an espresso, but this is like a solid coffee odor that is really pleasing. I would not call it an odor, or odor sounds negative. No, this is delicious. It's a coffee perfume. I can imagine just waking up and just be like, Oh, okay. Or better yet, you know, like you're, you're a parent who wants their kid to wake up and the kid's just like, no, I need more time. I don't want to get ready for school or whatever. And you just kind of walk this under their nose. And they're like, oh, I'm here. Okay, fine. I'll get breakfast. Where are my clothes? So the nice thing too, now that I smell the strawberry is like, I was really worried and I, I already said this, but I was like really concerned about what the smell is going to be like. Mm -hmm. And they're not overpowering. And they're not overbearing. I think no. that's the key word here, because a lot of times when we think of the smells we grew up with, the smelly toys we had as kids, they were they were very, very assertive scents. These are here, but they're not like gonna overpower and be super stanky. Like I don't want to smell strawberry cough syrup. I want to smell something that smells like something fresh and more real. Yes. And this is that. Yes, I will uh, absolutely agree with that. And it's just like, it's not too strong a scent. Again, I'm gonna go back to the Squishmallows comparison because, um, they have scented Squishmallows. And I'll be honest, I ended up getting a, a bunch of them and the scent was just like, it not only smacked you in the face, but for the longest time, it was just lingering. And what I really like about these is, you know, when you first hold them, unless you have a really sensitive nose and I'll admit mine's not the best, like I don't find this to be, you know, like, oh, automatically I know it's scented. But when I put him up, when I hug him, and I just take a breath in, there it is. But it doesn't make me like nauseous or anything from it. Exactly. And honestly, the Squishmallows, love it. And I love this cup so much. Yeah, the little accessories are key. And these accessories are stitched into the hands, not yeah. movable. Mm -hmm. no, no, I mean, he's sipping his coffee. I know, yeah. And again, like I said, the Wawa bodies are similar as you can see, but they are just so cute. And honestly, I just, I love holding They're them. They're really fun to hold the squeeze. Yeah, yeah, I love these so much. Also with the sipping line, as we had told you about the scented ones from the munchin line, um, there's also brown sugar boba, which I love because I live where boba lives. Again, out of context. Uh. <laughs> okay, yeah, out of context, true, but also I live in a spot where there is a lot of boba. It's boba for all. I was born in the boba. I was, thank you very much. And there's also orange soda um, sipping wawa. And I'm really curious about what those smell like now. And last but not least today, we're looking at moo shakes. Moo shakes. So these are like little cow characters mm -hmm. who are also like shakes and smoothies and drinks. And yummy, delicious stuff. And these 
are scented too. Yep, this guy is also scented. So I have the cotton candy mousse shake. I have the mint chocolate mousse shake. Oh, happiness. Should, should we trade? Yes. Oh. oh. <laughs> this one's coming home with me now. No, no, oh, I love you. Oh my goodness, okay. This might be my favorite smell. I mean, the coffee yeah. smell is really great, but chocolate mint, they're both there. Yeah, yeah, it's a, yeah, they are. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how to talk about this because they just smell so good. We could just sit here and do a review of just sniffing these things all day, couldn't we? That would That's be a little video. weird, right? I mean, from the person who brought you, cryptids are real. And I live in the boba. Boba lives in me. Oh, he smells so good. Yeah, these are really good smell. Like, I, I really can't stress this enough. Like, these smells are just solid. They are perfect. This is what I want in a, in a stuffed animal that's gonna have a scent. Yeah, th this really is because, again, as we said, not overpowering. It's there when you, you know, you take the breath in, it's there, but not like, oh, it's here and you can smell it over there. Exactly, know? like if it's over here, I don't smell it. If it's here, and I'm actively trying to, that I smell. Yeah. Which is really what you want. You don't want your house to be overpowered by weird artificial smelling plush toys. And you kind of want it when you want it. And you don't want your kids to be completely overwhelmed by it either because it's probably gonna have a weird effect on them later on down the road. Yes, After all, look at how I was sniffing a thing of paper, you know? But the tissue paper, you saw how I was happy about that? You're having a day, aren't you, buddy? <laughs> you know, if it weren't for the Wawa's and the Moo Shakes right now, I would have some very express words to say to you. Can't get mad at this face. I cannot. You're just the cutest little Moo Shake, aren't you? I mean, look at this. They're so adorable. But also, I got to talk about, like, what's going on here. Because, so we have the different textures. I mean, this is a much softer um, top. But also, she has a little thing of candy right here. That's her headband. Yeah, mine has, like, a little chocolate waffle cookie kind of thing, maybe. And, like, a little piece of a... That's a cone or something? Or the straw. I, yeah, I think she has a straw here. I think this is a straw. Oh, uh, you're right, it's probably a straw, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, these are just so cute and reminiscent of what they're supposed to smell like. I mean, I just love this color palette. Yeah, these are really great design-wise, too, in terms yeah. of the colors, like, preferred amount. Uh, just good design, too. This is just like the most adorable kawaii face. No. And man, this this smells amazing. This mint chocolate's amazing. Here, you wanna have more yeah, mint chocolate? Yeah, I need yeah. more mint chocolate. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah, that's stuff. This is like, th this cotton candy really stays with you. Yeah. Like that one really fills your nose. Oh my gosh. I want to know what kind of magic they do. And again, this is, um, you know, the, this type of plush, like the, the, the squeezing factor is clearly different from the Wawa's, but both of them are just so soft and you just want to cuddle them. And there's so much going on between the texture and the different um, design elements. That's just like, you can, just play with this and be happy with it for quite a while. You know, like this isn't just a, oh, I'm just gonna carry it around and be like this and throw it somewhere and forget about it. It's like, no, you can easily, I can easily see a kid watching it and just kind of fiddling with it, sleeping with it, accidentally putting the straw in its mouth and nomming on it. You know. Yeah, don't do that. I don't recommend you suck the brains out of your moose shakes. Oh no. Yeah, I know, right? Just saying I could see a kid who's like, you know, dozing off, because you know kids fall asleep in like the weirdest places. Well, right? that's kind of the perfect thing to do though, right? <laughs> yeah. That's kind of a great way to pacify them. I'm just saying, like, this is just brilliant. It's got a lot of great smells, great tactile sensations. Mm -hmm. Like, this is kind of the total package of plush toys. And oh, yeah. I think we both agree that, like, this is gonna probably be like one of the new plush killers out there. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, absolutely. This is gonna be taken over the market really soon. We've looked at a lot of plushies in our time here on this YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. And I think with a lot of confidence, we can both say that the Cuddle Barn stuff is really gonna be a knockout. I honestly, um, they just closed off Toy of the Year awards, um, but. Honestly, if I don't see Cuddle Barn in the plush category next year, I will be shocked. Yeah. Like for real, I will be shocked because these are just so wonderful. They're creative, they're different. I mean, the fact that, you know, you have like that little bit of East Asian inspiration is absolutely brilliant because you don't see a lot of that. And so I absolutely love it. The other moose shakes in this line are Pixie Sugar, which I'm just like, what does Pixie Sugar smell like? and strawberry. So we already know that they can do strawberry. And I have no doubt that they'll probably be able to do pixie sugar. I'm just really curious to see if, how pixie sugar differentiates from cotton candy. It'll be a lot sweeter smelling, I think. Uh, I think so yeah. too. I wonder if there'll be a touch of magic. Yeah, I said it. I think there will be magic in it. As we mentioned in the beginning, we started seeing um, seeing these different um, Wawa's and Moo Shakes popping up in different retailers. Um, some of them are Claire's, Bam, or Books A Million. Uh, Hot Topic, Box Lunch, and Fuego. 
I'm not really familiar with Fuego, but I now would like to be if they're carrying these. So they're available in the US and also in the EU. So these guys are little international friends as well. You can pick them up all over the place. We're gonna have links to places you can find them in the description of this video below. Mm -hmm. And everything that you're looking at here should be out very soon if it's not already out. This is essentially the fall lineup, if you will, mm -hmm. yeah. for uh, Cuddle Barn with all their plush gold characters. And we really do think these are awesome plushes. These are these are absolutely wonderful. And like I said, you guys know I'm, I'm big on the plush, so I genuinely love these. These are just so cute and fun to touch and play with and well, cuddle. <laughs> yeah, these are really, really great pieces. Uh, very happy to have them joining our little collection. If you guys want them for yourself, like we mentioned, we got links below, so do check them out. And one more time, thanks again to Cuddle Barn yes. for sending us all these plush goals characters, and we hope that you like them too. And please, if you find any of them out in the wild, please, please, please tag Cuddle Barn, you, um, hashtag plush goals, and also tag us so we know that you found them because we really think that you guys are all gonna love this as much as we do. So until next time, I'm Matthew. I'm Andrea. That's a Mooshake. And we'll see you guys here next time for more toy reviews and everything else we do here on the channel. Bye. <sighs> Wholesome. Delicious.